identifying the vowel and consonant sounds there comes the problem and challenge how to produce a particular speech sound and what is mouth formation for the same. Here is a presentation on same related to the mouth formation of speech sound while producing sound mechanism. And let us begin by acknowledging the help contributed by Asif Iqbal, a Rabindra Bharti University gold medalist. He prepared this slide and gifted to some of his friends. For that purpose, I am really thankful to him. I acknowledge him, my gratefulness. And furthermore, I wish to continue that what is the sound production mechanism for consonants specifically. Next slide, please. First, categorization for consonant sound in IPA is bilabial. And the articulators are two lips. The sound is produced with the help of two lips, where lower lip is the active articulator and upper lip is the passive articulator. Bilabial sounds include pa, ba, and ma. Ma sounds slightly nasal, but pa and ba two bilabial sounds. Then we notice that. We could say that the lower lip is the active articulator and upper lip is the passive articulator. Though the upper lip usually moves too, a bit, at least a little, but English bilabial sounds include pa, pa and ma. Then you can listen by clicking on the sound there. How ba sound is produced and later on you can listen how ma sound is produced. Magnify. Next please. This is the mouth formation for bilabial sound pa, ba, and ma. Next slide please. Next category of consonant sound is labiodental. There, lower lip is the active articulator and upper teeth are the passive articulator. English labiodental sound include f and v. Then you can see the sound production of and mouth formation next. This is the mouth formation for F sound and V sound, where lower lip is shown as active articulated and upper teeth are shown as the passive articulated. Next slide, please. Next category is dental. Dental sounds involve the upper teeth as the passive articulated. An active articulator may be either the tongue tip or the tongue blade, diacritic symbols. And for the production of the sound, dental sounds include th and d, as in throw and weed. Next slide, please. This is the mouth formation of tongue and teeth position for th and the sound. Next please. How to make sound? Th. Place the tip of your tongue between your upper and lower teeth. Like this, you can project my face, upper and lower teeth, the tip of the tongue like th. Then you need to uh, put, don't put it in between your lips. 
and make the sound by forcing air through the opening between your teeth and tongue. And don't vibrate your vocal cords. So, th is the sound that is produced. Next slide, please. How to make the sound th? Sound th. Place the tip of your tongue between. Next slide, next. Uh, here it is for the sound. This is not this the, rather it's the sound. So for production of the sound, again, we need to put your tongue between your teeth and like wait, wait. Here comes the alveolar sound. Alveolar sounds include ta, da, sa, za, la and na. Alveolar sound involves the alveolar ridge. As the passive articulator, the active articulator may be either the tongue blade or the tongue tip. Diacritic symbols can be used if it matters with English alveolar sound. They include ta, da, na, sa, za, and la. Then I start in try, da in cold, na in neighbor, sa in spider, za in scissors, la in steel or lamp. Next please. Next categorization is post alveolar. Post alveolar sounds involve the area just behind the alveolar ridge and as the passive articulator where it may either be tongue tip or the tongue blade, diacritic symbols can be used. It matters which. English post alveolar sounds are ch and j. Like ch in chair, j in jew. Next please. Next category is palatal. For the palatal sound, Two sounds are palatal, sh and j, and the active articulator is the tongue body, and the passive articulator is hard palate. English writes y is also a y is also a palatal sound, but palatal sounds include sh, as in she or as in shell, and j as in garage. And vision. Next sound, velour. Velour sound includes here the k, g, ng. Three sound k, g, ng. Active articulator is the tongue body, and the passive articulator is the soft palate. English velour sound includes k, g, and ng. G as in gave, k as in cap. No, as in ring. Next, please. Glottal sound. This is not exactly strictly a place of articulation as the shown in picture, but they have to put it somewhere. Here, a mouth passes wide open and air passes through, like ha, as in happy, ha, as in hold, and there we find glottal sounds are made in the larynx for the glottal stop. The vocal cord closes momentarily and cut off all air flow through the vocal tract. English uses glottal stop in the interjection meaning no. In ha, the vocal cords are open but close enough to gather that air passing between them creates friction noise. Next. Here comes the final pronunciation chart covering all 44 phoneme. Phoneme as I'm repeating here, phoneme are the phonemes are the cluster of 44 sounds 
including vowel consonant identified for speaking well english language and their first top three lines up to four sounds they represent two vowels like as in e as in read e as in sit u u as in book and u as in two then there comes a as in bed a as in america o as in word o as in soap a as in cat and a as in bat a as in part and u as in not these all are all 12 pure vowels they are also known as monophthongs the glide of the vowel beginning from the one vowel to the another one like first you can see sit e and the, then america a uh, you notice there that these 3 plus 3 plus 2 vowels these eight vowels are they diphthongs vowel glides are also in english considered as indivisible sound unit so they are considered as one sound but it glides from one vowel to the another vowel position mouth location and you can see as it here e and a a and in day may <coughs> next row second row you notice is that u and a two a four then there are o and e boy and a and u a u gal then there comes a and a ear ear beginning with a moving towards a where then a and e a e i then my then there comes a u a and u how these are eight diphthongs finally there is a list of consonants and then we notice that pa and pa bilabial then ta and da and then we notice ch and j then we notice ka and g and then fa and v tha da sa z sh j and then there is ma na no ha la r w and y let us have a practice with that sound for consonants again pa in pick pa in pet ta in tie da in do cha in charge da in judge and the ka in kill ga in go then there comes fa in five va in very and then tha think da di and sa six and za in zoo sha in short ja in casual and then there comes ma in milk na na then ma I will sing and ha hello then la live finally ra red and wa as a window and y as we noticed in the uh, previous identification video of the consonant sound we would like to say that how it is different from e a r and y e a r for e a r you will find that ear that top white h e r is here and similar e a r rock will be silent ear but y e a r the sound will be ear that sound will be uh, described there that's it for the identification and mouth formation and sound production mechanism of 
IPA, International Phonetic Association, Vowel and Consonant Sounds. Thank you.